Hello, it's me, Solstice, with uh, yet another Shogun 2 uh, Total War campaign. And, uh, well, this time I'm not gonna enroll on Legendary, because I'm kind of a fucking turd, and I'm kind of still trying to, you know, make my way up. I think it's probably too much of a big step to go from uh, normal all the way to, uh, well, Legendary. So, I'm just gonna enroll on Hard, uh, with Battle, battle Realism uh, mode of course uh, doesn't really matter I guess it's just the experience the thoughts beyond it so whatever just rate it uh, I'm gonna enroll on this campaign as the Date and uh, we are located in the far uh, north of Japan I don't know I don't think it's north is it whatever well it is here's the compass whatever okay um, so I got this army here and first thing I gotta do is probably attack these rebels mm, have horses but if I'd use this, this properly uh, Date have better uh, charge on their units uh, so I guess that's kinda nice and if I play this properly I can easily beat them I think uh, meanwhile I'm just gonna get some uh, I'm gonna construct an army to invade Ugo so I can get a foothold here and then start focusing on Hatakeyama, but Hatakeyama is still, uh, obviously I'm still at peace with Hatakeyama, so I think I'm just going to keep them as friends for now. But, whatever, and I gotta get started in Bushido Arts to get Way of the Sword, uh, don't care much for defenses at the moment. Uh, Katana, and I'm gonna improve my... I'll, I'm gonna build a weaponsmith here, and I'm gonna. Uh, I'm not sure as whether I want a harbor. This well, yeah, I do want a harbor, so I can get this point here. So I want to construct the harbor because I want this trade post here in Tsugaru Strait, wherever it is, Indonesia or something. Uh, well, it doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna attack these boys at first. Okay, here. This is kind of weird, though, because it's like this this whole campaign for Date starts like the ending of a movie or something. I don't know. I th you could probably base off a whole movie about this shit. So I'm I'm basically here with uh, Date Yoshinoru, and I'm gonna I'm gonna fight versus uh, Tsunemaru or something. Date as well, and it's his brother. So it's kind of like yeah blood vendetta, family vendetta, and he started rebelling against his father as far as I'm concerned with Date history. And Date was pretty important though, because they were like heroic, they were heroes. Uh, they had Date Masamune was a hero, so a cons well, like a, a, a war hero considered in Japan. So that probably explains uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna get my shit set up and I know it's just you know it'd be fun if they could make it if we could actually end up making this like some fucking emotional shit for just for the sake of experience but I don't think it's gonna ha happen because obviously it's fucking Shogun strategy and I know that they'd made that transfer in they tried making that single transfer in uh, Rome Total War but they're never gonna make it such a success uh, to make it a so simple to transfer story base towards a player, I guess, like to the unit, as though he is a person. Which would be, however, pretty fucking sick if they could end up doing that. And I would definitely love that. Damn. Does it matter though? I'm so fucking glad with the game at this point. I can't complain. Oh my god. True. I don't, I don't want this with like the position sometimes. It just doesn't click enough. It just. Uh, if I can take down these light cavalry, I'm gonna be happy. So. 
I just don't hope you know, they're not going to run up that hill. I don't even care at this point, I'm just... Move up carefully, I, I want to keep my general safe from the light cavalry until I took them down and as soon as, as they're, if I get, to f the first strike is very important so I gotta make casualties on their side get their first unit to uh, desert the army I gotta be careful. They're running away now, so I can really, if they don't turn around, I can, ah, damn. Not fast enough. Yep, I'm gonna have to turn back. I don't wanna lose my general. Gotta keep him safe, but I did demoralize them partially. That's a good thing. I just gotta catch this first blow. And then I'm gonna use these Yari Samurai to flank. As soon as it just flies straight into my Yari wall. I'm gonna move them here so I can attack them and they stand no chance to use their Yari cavalry against me at this point so it's useless for them. They're not doing anything now. I'm gonna take out their archers. See, run bitch. They're gone. They have no means to attack me by ranged attack, so I did secure this position. But they're climbing up a hill though, so they have that advantage in comparison to myself. I'm gonna turn off fire at wall because I don't want to end up taking my ammo. I gotta set these Yari Samurai up for a flank. Likely, and I want my general to be around. I just gonna wait for who does the first charge. I'll just move my archers here. can't really run because they're Yariwal, but it's good because they're gonna they're good defensive units and that's their strength. I mean, I've barely lost any casualties so far. They're fucking crippled at the moment. Mm -hmm. 
them here. My general around the back. So I can charge into them. No, what are you doing? My lord, a glorious victory will serve the youth. Bang. That's kinda that was a I didn't even use my Ari Samurai. Victory, I'm just gonna run them down. Oh, it's not them. Come on, fire. But destroy this rebellion because I, I can defeat them but it's pointless if I don't actually take them down I'll, I'll just completely obliterate make their whole army obsolete and that I can shift all my focus I don't want to waste this turn of an attack on having to chase after them yet again down six left that's not gonna stay up as one single unit so last let's see they killed a hundred guys skilled zero I lost units the archers I think these made these made the most kills, so they leveled up as well. And by far, these have the most fucking 300. But that's because of the charges, of course. But I need the experience, so it always gives you the best advantage, the experience, let alone the unit type. But this is fine because I can just move on without having lost anyone in reality. Okay, we defeated them so far here. They have self cavalry. But that isn't a problem. We're gonna Can we attack them? Yeah we can finish them off. They don't have a lot of units so easily crushed. Archers leveled up. Good. Inspired endeavors, wealth generated across all provinces. Ready to develop skills. I mostly want that. Oh, attacking on land, charge point. Yeah, I want the charge. For cavalry. Put the taxes high for this turn, so I earn money for an attack. Master the following art, way of the sword, working on that. Uh, what we also want is what we first self want an army. And I think, okay, I think I'll, we'll do fine with this because we're still waiting on a katana. And we just want those for defenses for now. And we also want 
food because I want to upgrade the castle here soon. So I'm just gonna move my army here. Move in for an attack. They're hidden. Keep it on normal because that's where you don't really get town growth. It's gonna wear off the effect, and it isn't, isn't worth the 300 bucks really. Allegedly, they had an army to move in the southern. Uh, Kami. I'm gonna move my army in through the woods. Ah, oh, that's pretty big, it seems. Uh, I'm not gonna manage to make them move in. Love him. And need a trading port. I couldn't make it early enough, because if I was close enough I could just attack that arm. That army is, was waiting outside the gates. About day difference, probably, cosmetically. For the sake of that, so much for taking down their army. But that shouldn't pose much of a problem, I feel. 
I want to wave the bow, I want to wave the sword. Let's see. I don't really want to give them a chance to build a large army. So, I'm not going to do that. And he moves out. I don't know why. Moron. Oops. I think I'll auto resolve this. Yep. What's oh, nice? Can easily eradicate them at this point. And I probably want to have uh, I don't know, maybe a ninja. Oh, probably. And also build stables. And I'll wait this one out for the next one so I can upgrade my castle. But I got some superior stone, so I'm happy. Okay, well, so much for uh, episode one of uh, our uh, uh, the Date campaign on Shogun Total War, and uh, we're gonna continue this campaign in the next episode. And I'll keep you all updated, and you'll all see it put like posted up. And it's gonna take very long. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm actually in a very, uh, what well, can I act a few two moons? So, and I'm gonna try to maintain that and upload a bunch of videos on a daily basis if I can keep up with that. So, uh, take care and uh, like and subscribe to the video. And uh, yeah, thank you. Later.